Matt here from Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to talk about unit of measures, how to add an alternate unit of measure, and just understanding some of the pitfalls of diff using different unit of measures. Uh, so I'm on the unit info tab and item maintenance. Um, this item has currently only one unit of measure of an each uh, or an EA unit of measure. And if you don't know how to set up new unit of measures, um, it's under unit of measure maintenance. Uh, in this example, we're going to be using a case, uh, case thousand uh, unit of measure. I personally like to add the number next to case. Uh, so that way, if I ever see the unit of measure anywhere, I know how many is in a case. Uh, technically, you could just call it case and then set the unit size, what you want to be in the on the unit info tab. It's just a personal preference. Um, so your unit size is one. Your base unit, which is this checkbox over here, needs to be a unit size of one. It's a requirement. Uh, you have to have a base unit of measure. You have to have a unit of measure that has all of these check boxes. It doesn't have to be the same unit of measure, but amongst your unit of measures, all of these check boxes need to be checked. If I try to delete a unit of measure and hit save, it's gonna tell me you can't do that because like I said, you, you have to have all those accounted for. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I want to go through each of these little settings real quick and then I'll add one and I'll, I'll show you a pitfall that I personally ran into. Um, so you have your default, default sales unit. That means when I enter a sales order, this is what unit of measure I want to display uh, by default. Not saying you can't change unit of measures, but that is your, your default unit of measure. Um, sales pricing means I want to base my sales pricing off of this unit of measure. And the same applies for purchasing unit of measure. Uh, when I enter a PO, this is the unit of measure I show. Um, and then this is also the pricing that I want to base it off of. And that the pricing thing is what I want to show you that I got personally hung up on uh, when I first got into P21. Uh, so I'm going to hit the plus symbol so I can add another case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to you know put in my case 1000. So I know I'm calling this a case 1000. So if my each is a one, that means my case is a thousand. So I'm saying there's a, a thousand of my eaches, my base unit in my case. Um, I'm going to leave those as sales. I'm going to say, you know what, this is how I want to purchase it. Now there's no issue with that, but when I check this, you're going to see this pop up here about how do you want to recalculate your purchasing price, location costs, all that kind of good stuff. I'm going to say no for right now. And I'm going to, I'm going to check that back on here say no again and so i want to go to the supplier detail and show you right now the list price and the cost is based off of the each now if that's how my vendor is pricing it to me like even if i order a case of a thousand you know they they still show my unit measure of five cents times a thousand but if they actually give me a case pricing what you're going to want to do is when you say yes here or you're going to want to say yes here it's going to take that price that was already in there and figure out based on my unit size. Oh, that's not a five cents cost. That's a $50 cost. Um, that really becomes a problem. If you change it after you've already been using the item, there can cause issues with, um, with moving average cost and things like that. So just be careful when you're playing around with unit of measures, uh, make sure you double check and stuff before you, um, go off changing unit of measures. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, or if you guys want to see videos on other topics, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs. Thanks, guys.